Former Cork captain Greg O'Halloran received a great reception before the game at the cross, as did Dan Murray back at Cork after a successful spell with Shamrock Rovers. Drogheda also looking for their first points of the campaign. Eamon Donoghue reports. Almost 4,000 at Turner's Cross for the return of top flight football. But the visitors, Drogheda, had the temerity to try to burst the city bubble early on. A combination of Mark McNulty and John Dunleavy kept United honest. But perhaps buoyed by their showing last week against Shamrock Rovers, Drogheda on Lee side for the first time since October 2009, with most of the early running. Tiernan Mulvenna denied by Mark McNulty. Dunleavy again in the right place at the right time. Davin O'Neill had been in injury doubt, but was past fit to start. Some relief for Tommy Dunn, who was without Colin Healy and Tyke Purcell. O'Neill had City's first chance and should have made more of it. Still draw it pressed. Centre half Derek Prendergast got two for Bray last season and was almost up and running for his new club, but for Shane Duggan's intervention. The game was so open with so many chances, it never looked like being a nil-nil. And the only surprise with the opening goal was that it didn't fall to Drogheda. Sean O'Connor laid the ball into Daryl Horgan's path. Horgan missed the UCD game last week through flu, but he showed his class to make it 1-0. Drogheda perhaps feeling like Shamrock Rovers did last week when Dean Marshall scored. Now with something to build on, City pressed on. And Levy involved in the United end this time, but Duggan was denied by Gabriel Sava. Much travelled striker Peter Hines impressed, leading the Drogheda United line and set up Mulvena who was perhaps caught a little unawares as the small band of travelling fans wondered just what it would take to force the opening. The city were far more economical on the other hand and made it 2-0 on 33 minutes. Horgan this time the provider. Vinny Sullivan sent it beyond Sava. Tommy Dunn said afterwards, Drogheda should actually have led at the break following all their chances and it's difficult to argue did get some reward for their efforts when Mulvena scored five minutes before the game. Friday's match was pure entertainment and full value for the admission price. United started with the left off and forced the equaliser. Hines and Mulvena involved. Gavin Brennan subject to a careless challenge from the experienced Danny Murphy. Hines on target and given what had gone before in the previous 53 minutes, you had to fancy Drogheda to win it from here and their task was made slightly easier two minutes later. Blood and thunder in the midfield. And it all became a little too much for Shane Duggan. By the letter of the law, Richie Winter was left with little option, but Brian Gannon certainly made a meal of the contact. Footballing centre halves, think Rio Ferdinand, David Luiz, and Alan McNally. This would have been worthy of winning any game. Sublime to the ridiculous, Drogheda had tried so often to score, frustrating for City then to gift them the winner. Gavin Kavanagh, the unlucky defender. Last time these two sides met in the league, Dan Murray was sent off. The returning hero was inches away from an equaliser as Cork's hope of a comeback were dashed. In fact, Drogheda should have added another to add gloss to the proceedings. Ryan Brennan close to replicating what his brother Killian did in Tala. Full time at Turner's Cross in a pulsating league match, a game that could have finished it all, ended 3 2 to Drogheda United. And if you defend the way we defended tonight, and also to the indiscipline of one or two individuals, um, cost us the game and like it's 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 something that we have to eradicate quickly because if you don't well then you're in for a tough long season certainly to get the first three points on the board is very very important come to a place like Cork I think myself outside of probably Shamrock Rovers Sligo Derry and Pats the other eight teams is going to be a right scrap till the end of the season so it was important to get our first three points on the board